So today what we're going to be looking at is how we can sort a range of dates by the month and we can see here that we've got some movies and that we have some release dates at the side here. What we're going to be looking at is how we can sort these by the month which is the middle part here. So what we need to understand first is how we can get these values into a different format and we can start out by doing this using the text function like so and we can do as we've always done for insert formulas with the equals text and then what it's going to ask for is the arguments are in that. And we know that our arguments for this one are going to be this cell here. So what we can do is just take that cell there. And then we can say that we want our format to be the month, month and day, day. And we need to put these in double quotes. But once we've done that, we can close the parentheses and press OK. And you can see that you get a random number there. If you drag that down, then you're going to get this random number for all of these. And we can see that they're all different, OK, relating to what number or date they are. So what we'll do now then is we will look at how we can use that text function and build this out a little bit more. So we're going to press the equal sign and we're going to start out with the sort by function. So we know that we want to sort by and it's asking us for an array to start out with. So we know that this is our array as we have everything here. And then we have next one by array one. So we want to put in text here. So we know that we want the text function and once we've entered that we need a parentheses. So the value that we're going to have is going to be this column here of all of our dates and the format that we want to do is double quotes and as we did before, so we want it month, month, day, day with a double quote, close the parentheses, we need to press the comma and now it's going to ask us how it wants to sort this data, whether we want it to be ascending or descending. So ascending is one, descending is minus one and we can press the tab on one as we want it there and then close the parentheses, press the OK and now we can see that we've got our data over here for us. Once you get to this point then, we can see that we've still got some random numbers at the side here but we can just click into column E and then quickly change this into long date and now you can see that these have been moved and these are all formatted by the month and day. Okay, so as they work down we can see that we've got them all going from March there up to December. Now, this is taken into consideration that you have the sort by function. If you don't have the sort by function, then what we can do is we can put in, say, another column here, saying filter, and we can start out exactly the same way now as we did before with the text function. So we know that our value that we want to do here is going to be B2. Uh, we want the double quotes, and then the format is going to be the month, month, day, day, double quotes, and then close the parentheses. Once we've closed it we'll get a random number and we can just drag that down there. But we need to turn this into a numerical value because if we try to sort on text it's going to ask us A to Z where when we come to this last part of this and we have to sort it then we know that we need it to be a numerical value. So we can just go up to our formula bar here and in front of the text you're just going to press two minuses there and press enter and you can see that that's just changed that to numerical and now we're just going to drag that down there or double click just to make all of them numerical values. So what we could do now is once we've done that we can select our entire data set. So we can select all of this here and we can go up to the data and then sort function. And what we need to do now is sort by the column helper. We want to sort by the cell values and we want to sort by smallest to largest. So we can press OK at this point. And what you can see here is that within this column here, so within column B, we've now sorted these by the month. So we've got March, April, May, June, July, and so on and so on, all the way down. And if you need to do it at this point, then you'll be able to just hide that column or do whatever you need to do with it. Obviously, if you're going to add more dates and leave it open and you can add to it. But just for now, I like say you'll be able to really quickly and easily see these different dates just by filtering and sorting these numbers. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the comments below. And we'll hope to see you again soon.